everybody, Ash here with Gen Sense. So I just got back from a, a house party with a bunch of friends, um, and I'm a little bit tipsy. So this is gonna be my first in my Gen Sense uh, tipsy fragrance reviews. I'm inspired by Drunk History, which is a great uh, TV show that comes on Comedy Central, where you get great stories about history told by drunk comedians. This is like a much more low quality, less entertaining version of that. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at Vince Camuto Vertu. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Vertu because it's got a, a French spelling. It's like Vertu, but no E. As you'll notice there on the bottle, Vince Camuto Vertu. We're gonna review this fragrance. We're gonna look at the presentation. I'm gonna tell you whether I like it or not. Just to let you know the 411. This hat is, uh, my wife was wearing this hat. And now I got it on, in case you're wondering. So let's go ahead and get into this. Vince Camuto Vertu. Just being honest with you guys, I don't wanna do the full presentation thing, so I'm just gonna do it uh, holding stuff up to the camera. Cool? Cool. I paid about $18 for this on eBay, just FYI. So getting that good price. Here we've got the bottle. You can see there, Vince Camuto Vertu. Wow, that's reflective. Oops. On the top of the bottle, you can see there Vince Camuto Vertu. <laughs> Maybe you can see it. I don't know, the light looks pretty bright. Uh, on the bottom, we've got the batch code right there. It's upside down, but it's right there, baby. You know they're gonna hit you with those ingredients. There they are, and look at those fingerprints. This box is a fingerprint magnet. Do you wanna keep a fingerprint magnet box in your collection? No, you don't. Get that out of here. Get that junk out of here. You think you're gonna convince me that your stuff is high quality because you got a reflective box? Let's take a look at that bottle. Standard Vince Camuto bottle style. You got the little Vince Camuto, uh, what is that? That's like a wax seal. It's like you throw that on a letter when you're trying to look fancy. Only it's metal, Vince Camuto style, baby. On the back, you've got some stitching. You love it. So this is a patent leather kind of bottle. Honestly, you know what it looks like? This bottle, this patent leather. Um, I mean, technically they have patent leather shoes that look like this, the very shiny reflective leather shoes. I've actually got a pair of Versace shoes that are like that, just that patent leather, like I said four times now. Uh, this kind of looks like gimp leather. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this the Vince Camuto gimp leather bottle. Or maybe if you've seen uh, American Horror Story season one, which is really the best season, right? American Horror Story season one, they got Rubber Man, and he's wearing the, the gimp leather. That's what this leather on this bottle looks like. You're straight gimping. If you've got this bottle, you're gimping. I'm five and a half minutes into this review and I haven't talked about the fragrance. Five and a half minutes recording. When you actually see it, it's gonna be less. Let's talk about the fragrance. This opens green with papyrus and black pepper in the opening. And that initial salvo, blah, 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 blah. Papyrus and black pepper. You get a little bit of woodsy, slightly smoky birch about five minutes in. As well, there's a little bit of cedar to go along with that birch and the papyrus and the pepper. And if I'm being honest with you guys, it smells a little bit cheap. And I know my man, Chad, from A Gentleman's Journey, did a review on a sample of Vince Commute Over 2, and I think he said that it was okay. I think he said it was good, I don't know. In my opinion, this one comes off Basic, so basic. In the opening, to be honest, I have never been all that impressed with Vince Camuto fragrances. Uh, they basically range from total crap to eh, it's okay. When your range of fragrances is total crap on the bad end and then eh, it's okay on the high end, that's, that's not good. And I'm a moron. I own six of them. The only ones I don't own are Terra and Eterno. So, I mean, good on me. Just playing, not good on me. Like I said, I'm a moron. None of the Vince Camuto fragrances that I own have left a good impression on me. They're, they're just not that good, to be honest. So, Solaire is probably the one that got the most hype. It got hyped for approximately 32 seconds and then nobody cared, rightfully so. I mean, who cares? This bad boy. 
Ver 2, I caught it. I caught it straight up. Ver 2 is straight up in that mediocre pile. Through the mid to the dry down, this is like a slightly herbal dryer sheet. Like a dryer sheet that you would throw in with your laundry and make sure it doesn't get wrinkled. I mean, if you wanna wear that, go for it. Don't expect anybody to care that you smell like laundry. It's woodsy, uh, just with no depth, no richness, no spice, no kick, nothing interesting at all. You would think with the copious amount of woodsy notes in here that it would come across like a really rich, masculine, powerful fragrance. Vetiver, birch, sandalwood, cedar, all together. The Mount Rushmore of woodsy notes just combining into one powerhouse fragrance. You would think that it would be earthy, woodsy, powerful with the smoky undercurrent, uh, but you would be wrong. It's just plain and boring. Uh, the word on Fragrantica is that this is a designer take on Santal 33 by Le Labo, a more affordable version of Santal 33. I gotta tell you guys, just being straight up and honest with you, I smelled Santal 33 in Chicago. It was a while ago, for a year and a half, two years ago now. I didn't like Santal 33. I thought for the price, hella just overpriced, not great smelling. Jesus. Ow! If this does in fact smell like Santal 33, and I gotta be honest, I don't remember all that much what Santal 33 smells like other than I don't like it. If this smells like a designer version of that, that's why I don't like it, because I don't like Santal 33 either. They do share a lot of notes in common on Fragrantica, Santal 33 and for two, so it's possible that they smell similar. Just to be honest, I'm never gonna spend the money that it costs to buy Santal 33 to confirm that for you, so sorry. In the dry down, this fragrance is really just kind of a peppery, dry, clean, woody scent. Uh, I don't get leather in this fragrance. Interestingly, they call the leather note here Tuscan leather. Really just trying to fancy it up, trying to make it sound better than what it is. Oh yeah, the, the, the leather note in Vince Commute over to you, that's uh, Tuscan leather. It's not normal leather, that's a Tuscan leather note. Just playing, there's no leather at all. In the opening, there are some slight changes. You do get a tiny bit of herbs, a tiny bit of smoke, uh, but it's really not that interesting. Once that settles down and it turns into just the dry, woody scent that I mentioned earlier, that's pretty much all it is from the mid to the dry down. You would think with this uh, black leather gimp kind of thing going on on the bottle that would be more interesting but it's not you would think it'd be a more dark rich fragrance centered around that leather note uh, but like i said just now it's not in all honesty it's pretty friggin boring it's more just a dry casual woody scent that you would wear in spring and fall it's not bold enough for winter it's not fresh enough for summer performance though really good longevity eight Longevity, eight plus hours. Projection, very strong. Much stronger than I was expecting when I sprayed it on my skin. You get a decent scent cloud with this one through the day. Eight plus hours, eight plus hours of longevity, no problem. So if nothing else, it's got that going for it. The main positive with Vince Camuto scents is that you can buy them really cheap. Uh, the main drawback of Vince Camuto scents is that they smell really cheap. You see how it works? You pick it up cheap, it smells cheap. You see? To me, Camuto Virtu is some basic TJ Maxx clearance aisle type stuff. This is like the type of fragrance I would have worn in high school because I didn't know any better. This almost smells like a fragrance that you would pick up from a mall store like Aeropostal or Hollister. But yeah, pretty close to Hollister. Smells like something you'd pick up in the clearance aisle there, not even their good stuff. Essentially what I'm trying to tell you is this 100% smells like a mall fragrance, uh, only with a lower scale of quality. I paid $18 for this fragrance, and that feels about right. Any more than 20 bucks for this 50 mil, you're paying too much. This is not something that I would buy again. It may be versatile in the sense that you can wear it in most casual settings and get away with it, uh, but it's not something that's gonna have you remembered. It's not something that's gonna have the ladies falling all over themselves trying to smell you. You're just gonna smell like some basic, dry, woody, bland fragrance that nobody cares about. It's okay 
It's not terrible, but it's completely bland. Uh, wearing Vince Commute over two is like eating dry toast for lunch. You're not gonna die. You're gonna get a tiny bit of sustenance, but why eat uh, uh, dry toast? Why do that? You get a little flavor in your life. Vince Commute over two, no flavor, no salt, no spice. If you're wearing Vince Commute over two, you're not really living. What are you doing? Why? Out of everything that's out there, would you wear this? Could it get you compliments? Sure, anything can get you compliments. You could mix baby powder with water and spray it on yourself and somebody out there is gonna give you a compliment on it. The person that's gonna compliment you is probably a psychopath, but technically you can get compliments wearing anything. That's a really stupid roundabout way of saying, don't wear this, there's no point. But if you don't wanna to listen to me and you wanna buy this fragrance, you decide that you like it, you just buy it from a discounter, get it on the cheap, don't pay retail. As far as I'm concerned, Vince Commute over two, thumbs down, no thank you. I gotta pick it back up, one sec. Uh, I will say though, if you're in the market for a fragrance that's wrapped in gimp leather, this is probably your best bet. Uh, I don't think there are too many other fragrances wrapped in black rubber type leather latex kind of uh, BDSM style uh, leather. So if you're looking for that, this is gonna be for you, my man. Sit this on the counter next to your rubber latex suit. They're gonna go hand in hand. They're gonna look great together. All right, my guys, that's gonna do it for me today. Gent Sense, uh, what is this, Tipsy Fragrance Reviews or something. Taking a look at this one. Vince Commute over to you. I don't, I don't really like it. I don't think it's very good. Just gonna kind of waste some sprays like this. See that? It's wasting it, because I don't care. That's how much I don't care, I just waste it. But that feels so fresh now, just with all that, all that Vertu in the air. It's all over my pants. Let me breathe it in. Mmm. Mmm. That's the scent of a thousand failed fragrances, all in the air at once. Wow, it's just so pointless. Vince Camuto over two is so pointless. Vince Camuto as a fragrance house, so pointless. Vince Camuto, with your next release, either come correct or don't come at all, man. Seriously, when was the last time anybody saw a pending Vince Camuto release and was like, oh well, I gotta get the one? Never, that's the answer, never. You know what happens, people go into Sephora and they see the new Vince Camuto and this is what they do. Yeah, I don't care, I don't even wanna test it. Release something that's remotely interesting. Please, I'm begging you. All right guys, if you smell that one, let me know what you think about it in the comments. And uh, hey, in before the one guy that says in the comments, oh, Vince Commute over two is actually a great fragrance. I get so many compliments. If that's the case, you get compliments with this, imagine what would happen if you wore a fragrance that's worth a crap. If you get compliments with this, my man, you're gonna be mind blown when you wear something that's worth a crap. Seriously, your brain's gonna melt out of your ears because everybody within a 10 mile radius is gonna be complimenting you. If you get compliments with this, you're gonna get compliments with anything. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.